Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, basically, we're talking about my medical. Let me see if I'm okay. Okay. Basically, we're talking about my medical issues, and if you've seen part one, um, basically just pick it up from there. Um, I'm talking right now about my surgeries, um, and basically the the new doctor that I have was trying to fix me up with all the mess ups that the first the bad surgeon did. So now he's having complications. Um, I had a heart attack on the operating table the last time I had a surgery. Um, basically just not, I, there was, I couldn't, I couldn't eat or drink anything by mouth for, I think it was like six months or something. I, all my, I, all my nutrition, all my water, everything was through my veins. Like, I had to carry a bag around with me that had um, basically like an IV pump in it. Um, and because of all this stuff, I can't, like, my diabetes got way out of control because I'm, I'm also diabetic. That got way out of control because I can't eat certain things because it gets stuck in my tubing. I can't exercise, which this is the most out of shape I've ever been in in my probably entire life. Um, I gained a lot of weight because I, I, I lost so much weight really quickly. Um, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't work out anymore. I still can't um, because if I walk for long, my skin just burns and the stuff that the, that the pump is supposed to clear out um, just goes, ventures downward. Um, and then I end up having stomach contents all over my privates. Uh, down my leg. It's it's just nasty. So, you know, what do I do? Um, I'm basically stuck in my chair. Um, I can walk, but, you know, not far um, or else I have issues. Um, also, um, I wanted to say that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I wanted to say that my first surgeon um, had me in an awkward position and it it killed the nerve going to my hand. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but that's as far as I can open. I can, these fingers here, that's all I can move them. They're basically dead. I can't, like, I'm trying to make my hand like this, but <laughs> that's what happened. Um, so that, there went my, my tattoo career. Uh, you know, I, it's, and my, my leg is the same way. Um, the nerve going to my leg is damaged, so that's why I need a cane, um, because, because of my belly, I'm hunched over, because when I stand straight up, it just kills, um, and it pulls all my, I guess, where my skin would be, it just pulls everything, it just hurts. Um, so I'm hunched over, and without feeling my, me not being able to feel my right, my right leg, makes me really wobbly, like, and if I fall, I'm, I'm six foot eight, um, if I fall over, uh, it's going to take, you know, somebody, either a really big dude or a couple of really big dudes to pick me up, so that's why I use a cane, um, this has been going on since I was 24 years old, I just had my 30th birthday on January 30th. So pretty much all the stuff that most people would do between their, their you know, the age of 24 to 30, I, I missed out on because I, I don't go out to eat um, because my machine makes really horrible noises and people don't understand that um, I cannot, because it comes out my, straight from my intestine, um, I cannot control when I'm going to the bathroom what noises come out of my, my, and it comes out of here. It doesn't come out of the normal place. Uh, so I could be sitting there and somebody might hear, a you know, <laughs> and it's, it's really embarrassing, but you, you know, I can't help it. So I choose to not go out to eat. Um, I just, you know, I just can't do what I, what other people can, and I, I basically, my life's been put on hold, and it's, you know, it's not fair, but what am I going to do, you know? Um, I no way think that I have it worse off than anybody else. Um, 
I have my mind, I can see, um, I can, you know, I can talk, you know, I, there are a lot worse people off than me, and that's what I try to remember. I try, I, I mean, some people might not get that, but that's what I try to keep in my head that, hey, you know, at least I can see, at least I can think, at least I can, you know, feel, you know, some people don't get that, that option. Um, and, and a lot of people say, well, you know, if since this doctor is not doing this or whatever, you know, why don't you just switch doctors? Well, it took <laughs> three years to get this far with this doctor, you know. If I would just go switch a doctor, would, how many more years would I have to wait, you know? And it's not, it's a very complicated surgery. It's been a very complicated previous surgeries. It's not just like a doc. You can, I can go and say, "Hey, can you give me a surgery?" Because they'd have to do research. They'd have to look at all, like, give me all the tests and years of testing I had. You know, they'd have to redo all that. Um, it's not the doctor. That's that's you know that's messing with me. It's the office people who fuck up scheduling, excuse my language, who fuck up scheduling um, and all that stuff. You know, it's, it's three surgeons, complete different surgeons working together for one surgery. And, you know, it's, it's a, a colorectal surgeon, a plastic surgeon, a, um, a guy for my, I have like four hernias or something, a guy to do that. It's like, they're all trying to work together. And, Two of the doctors were on the same page, but they didn't inform the last doctor, so he had no idea that I was even supposed to get my surgery, you know, until they already scheduled it. So it's like now they they have one person in charge rather than three people trying to, you know, trying to do three separate things. They have one person taking charge of the whole thing, which is how it should have been from the start. Um, but I know people are just trying to help and just trying to show their concerns by saying, you know, like, just switch doctors. There's other doctors out there, but, um, it's more complicated than that. Um, and a lot of surgeons, if you have other sur surgeons working on you, a lot of surgeons won't, won't do it. Um, they, they refuse because they don't want to be liable for things that other surgeons did. Um, like the surgeon that I have now will not do anything as far as my lawsuit against my first surgeon. He he won't, you know, even though he gave in he he gave the note saying that the surgeon oh there goes my thing. <laughs> um, all right, I'll I'll wrap this up. Um, basically, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what what every what what everything is when I talk about my disabilities and stuff. Um, and that's just a physical. Uh, so thank you very much. And I'm going to make an interesting um, video really soon. So stick with me. And I just wanted to, this is kind of an extension to the about me. So blessed be everybody and have a good day. Thank you.